everyone. My name is Katie Johnson, and I'm Vice President of the Eugene O'Neill Society. And uh, I'm so thrilled to be talking about the uh, some of these lost plays that the Eugene O'Neill Foundation is performing for us. And what a treat that we can see them online on YouTube. Um, some of you might know that I've written about uh, at least the web, and I just finished teaching uh, the web and abortion in my Eugene O'Neill seminar, so I'm going to focus on those today. I think, though, both of these plays are over 100 years old. What's fascinating to me is how relevant they are today, and this is something that students really pick up on. Um, and I think the, the, the way that O'Neill is framing these conversations in these two plays is we see women who are literally and figuratively screwed by patriarchal culture. And so um, why don't we start with The Web, which was O'Neill's second play, and um, it was originally titled The Cough. And uh, I, I was lucky enough to look at the manuscript and see where he you know, scratched that out and retitled it The Web, which is really interesting because there we see a shift from O'Neill from talking about what is sort of an individualized um, affliction, tuberculosis, from which O'Neill was recovering, by the way, to the web of all of these forces that are that are ensnaring the, the central character, um, Rose, who is a consumptive, which is to say suffering from tuberculosis, prostitute. Now, um, some of you might know that there is a very long history, which I've written about, uh, on, on the stage about uh, prostitutes, especially sort of these consumptive prostitutes who perish. And, um, you know, it goes all the way back to Camille, or even, even as recently as Baz Luhrmann's adaptation called uh, Moulin Rouge, so uh, here O'Neill does something really, really unusual and um, uh, that uh, in, in the fate of the central character Rose. And I've promised Eric that I can't really reveal the ending of the plays, but I'll, I will just suggest to you that that's something really unusual uh, and modern that, that happens to her as a character. Now, something that is also very unusual and modern and you might say very logical is the presence of uh, an infant, you know. Um, but I can tell you that none of the plays of, uh, about prostitution of this time period really considered what are, you know, really the, the logical consequence of sex work, and that is, you know, an illegitimate baby, you know, especially during a time when there, uh, there was no legal birth control. Uh, and that, of course, is the, the subject of the second play, abortion. So what happens when you have a prostitute who's sick, who has this baby? Um, there's a lot that he takes up in this play. And uh, that's why I say that, that even though we see uh, a lot of naturalistic forces that, uh, that we might find in somebody like Stephen Crane or Theodore Dreiser, you know, Sister Carrie or Maggie, a girl of the streets. Here, O'Neill does something really interesting, and you just have to pay attention to the ending. Uh, and I can't wait to see what the company does with this. So my students are enthralled with this play, and I am as a scholar, and I hope you are too as audiences. Enjoy. <laughs> 